Okay, back in 1936, they were drilling for oil at Little Beaver, and my father, my stepdad was a water pumper. He pumped water to the well, whatever that concerned. And my sister and I would go out there, and we spent some time staying with him a few nights. And I remember being there and oil gushing all over. I do remember that, because I was 12 years old. And another incident that happened while I was there, they were doing some pipelining right west of the, where the oil well was. And Glenn Stark was a welder, and he caught, he caught on fire, and he got burned very bad. But, I mean, he survived, but he did get burned. <coughs> but as far as they, they, they shut the well down, they did nothing. It just, they capped it. Nobody knew anything about it. It really didn't affect the town at all, as far mm -hmm. as I could see. And I was old enough to know, you know. But this, this was in 1936, when that well was discovered. And then I don't know that they ever drilled any more out there. But there, I do know there was oil there, because I saw it. <laughs> well, how much longer was it that Baker got its first actual oil boom when they really started drilling? Yeah, that was back in the 50s and early 60s. And it was in the late 50s or 60s when they paved the streets. Before that, they were muddy. <laughs> How was that on a spring day? <laughs> yes, not good. <laughs> not good. So, and of course then, when they started drilling on, there was a lot of activity, a lot of help to the businesses in town. It kept them going. Just like all of them, they end. And you drop. 